Well, the rain and the humidity testing that we do is important for several reasons. It allows us to show that the aircraft can operate in those environments, and every test that we're going to do is representative of an environment that can be found in the world. And this aircraft is multinational, multi-country. What we want to test is uh, the maximum levels of relative humidity and absolute humidity, and then we'll go into rain testing. And for rain, we'll have above the aircraft a rain frame that will then produce the amount of water we want to simulate rainfall. What we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate long periods of steady rainfall, about an inch for several hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. Then we'll switch to doing uh, wind-blown rain with fan assemblies on the sides to, to generate crosswinds. Then we'll do uh, operating in the rain where we'll kick the, the rain uh, flow up to about three and a half to four inches of rain per hour and operate the aircraft as if it's running on the ground and getting ready to take off. Well, the most innovative process is the use of the rain frame above the aircraft. And that allows us to spray a very controlled amount of water, very set amount of water at the temperature and the conditions that we want to, to get what we need uh, in a timely fashion. The coolest part will be the amount of rain coming down where in some cases you're likely to, the aircraft will look like it's uh, disappearing in the, in the amount of water we're, we're sending down.